guys and welcome back to Miss Sims 4 Speed Build. This house is not actually that big for as long as this video ended up. Because this is one of those houses where I entirely knew for the most part what I wanted the inside layout to be. And I was pretty attached to it because it's based on the first house kind of sort of from Leave it to Beaver, which is an old sitcom. Um, that I've been watching with my dad in the mornings before work, which I think is really a, a fun way to start the day. I'm very lucky to be able to do that. Um, and they lived in two different houses, both of which don't really match their exterior, so I didn't go for exteriors at all, but the first little house, as they call it, had like this really cute little entryway, and I adored the study living room. And so I was like, that's super cool. And then as far as I could tell, there was like this little nook in the back, which I tried to create, which doesn't make a lot of sense in The Sims, but I thought it was cool. And then she had this really pretty, obviously, like, 50s-style kitchen and then dining space, which I don't think I got the layout right, but I, at some point you have to just kind of, like, make it work in The Sims. And I think I got kind of close in the kitchen. Uh, this part, uh, the coloring and stuff, I didn't go matching very much. I, like I said, I stuck with the layout, but, like, the actual decor and the stuff you see here, I didn't stick with as closely because, A, it's a little bit hard to get reference shots, and two, it's in black and white. Um... So some of the stuff just wasn't going to translate the same because it's pretty because in black and white our brains like add color, right? But like when, when I was looking it up and stuff, um, Jerry Mathers, who plays the beaver, at one point was like, yeah, everything was kind of beige. And I was like, I can do beige, but I don't want to do like all beige, you know? So the colors and like sort of the decor and stuff really goes off script and obviously the outside completely goes off script. But I tried to keep the layout kind of sort of how I imagined it in my head working. Um, and I kind of want to do their second house now too, their second house is a little bit different. Originally I was going to add a basement because they talk about a cellar um, and in the kitchen there's a door. I ended up turning that into a bathroom because A there's not a bathroom downstairs and I thought this house needed another bathroom. but. Um, the cellar just wasn't working, the stairs were not working, it wasn't going to line up the way I wanted it, it was going to require another layout change, and I was already struggling a little bit because the layout was like not translating to The Sims super well. And then the upstairs, we never actually see like enough of the upstairs to really work out a layout other than we knew there was a guest room, we knew there was a parent's room, and we knew what the boy's room looked like because it's the, the sitcom is about the little boy, his name is Theodore Cleaver, but he goes by Beaver Cleaver. I, there's a reason, I don't remember why. Um, and his older brother, Wally. And they share a room, and so that's where like 90% of this happens, right? Because it's all from the perspective of the beaver, as they call him. Um, so I knew what their room kind of looked like, and I went off script again with colors, and I actually went pretty off script with the room. It's more of an ode to, like it's a, it's a set of like brothers room, but I didn't really stick with the design because it didn't really fit like, I still wanted it to look good from the outside, because in The Sims, you experience the whole house, you know? But I did get a guest room in, I did get a little boy's room in, a set of brothers, and I did get a master. The master has an ensuite. I don't know if that would have happened in this house. Wait, I don't recall ever really seeing the parents' room, I don't think, or at least not in this house. We might have seen it in the other house. So I gave them an ensuite, and the boy's bathroom is wrong, kind of, because... In the show, the boys have an ensuite, um, but that I couldn't. A, I didn't like how that ended up working out in the boys' room. It gave them like no wall space, but also it meant there really wasn't a guest room bathroom. And if you're gonna have a guest room, you need to have a place for the guests to stay. So I was assuming the downstairs was then like a full bath, but I didn't make it big enough to be a full bath. And also, it's it's a TV set, so it didn't have to make sense, but it had to make sense. In the sims so we, we went a little while but i did try to do it very traditionally i did try to keep to um a little bit more of not necessarily a 50s style but a little bit more 50s i did try to go ode to 50s in the kitchen i used the dream home decorator cabinets and stuff and i went back and forth a lot on how i wanted that to look because it's funny because in my head uh like 50s kitchens and i think what they were hoping to do with uh june cleaver's kitchen was like bright and pastel colors and really pretty and checkered and all of that so that's kind of the ode i was like trying to i was like trying to go for that you know but a lot of 50s kitchens are actually really dark paneling and wood and stuff and i think that would have been easier to pull off but that's not that's not really what i wanted my grandma has a 1950s kitchen in her house and it's really cool it has this amazing stove that's like up 
and the stove like pulls out it's like a roll out drawer stove and then the ovens above it with these like really pretty tempered glass doors and stuff but the ovens are tiny but um and like you have to lift it over your head which isn't great that's the thing that always gets me like i always end up burning myself because like i have to like well, you don't have to you wouldn't have to lift it over your head if you were taller than i am but i'm only five foot so i have to like and it's not really over my head it's like at eyeball height but anyways um my grandma has a a like a wooden kitchen like that it's all paneling and it's a really cool kitchen it's really it's really unique especially with that stove and stuff but it also means that even in the bright sunshine and like the glorious days and stuff that we have out here it's still kind of cavey so i did not want that i wanted uh kind of like you know your typical sitcom really pretty bright kitchen so we did that the kitchen is huge and like so after building this, I went back and I've been watching the reruns with my dad, and they're in the new house again now on the channel we've been watching it on. Um, but, like, I went back and watched some of the older ones with the, the older house, and it is a huge kitchen. For, like, they keep referring it to it like it's a small house, it's a little house, we're outgrowing it. It is a huge house. It is a giant house. <laughs> I'm assuming they wanted more bedrooms or a bigger backyard or something, but, like, that kitchen is huge. Um... In the show as well, the there isn't. Oh, I guess they would have wanted the den, huh? Because he doesn't get the den until the second house. Second house has a den. This house doesn't have a den, although it could if you didn't have a guest room for modern playing styles. But this, they have his desk, Ward Cleaver's desk, in the living room, and because it's a TV show, it's kind of just offset, you know, so that like when he's working at it, you can still see his face and stuff. And I wanted to kind of keep that vibe, but not be weird and just have like a desk in the middle of the living room. Um, and so we compromised and there's a desk in the middle of the living room, but I think I pulled it off in a way with that nook where it looks like an intentional office space, but it doesn't look super weird. It's definitely unique and I don't know if I would do it again, but I think it kind of captures the correct vibe and that was the whole point of this house was trying to get like that, that like 1950s sitcom vibe kind of thing, but also like make it very usable in The Sims and make it where... If you liked the layout of the house, but you hated the way I did the house, it wouldn't be that hard to, like, fix it. Although I will say it uses, like, a billion packs, so if you don't have all those packs, you probably are going to have to go through and fix it all anyway, which I do apologize for. Um, here I am just laying out furniture, trying to make sure everything fits. This build took me so long. I went back and forth and fussed at everything. Like, everything got changed, and I cut so much of it out, but I try not to cut, like... How do I phrase this? I tried to cut a bunch out, but I tried not to cut out so much that it looked easy because I've always said, like, I don't want to give you guys the impression this is easy because to me sometimes that can be very discouraging when you're like, oh, like watching James Turner, he's such a brilliant builder. Um, and I do think sometimes it probably does come easier to him, but lately some of his builds he's been showing off, like when he gets frustrated or he says good enough. And that's been really inspiring to me because I'll look at it and I'll be like, either, oh, I understand where he's stuck, like, I don't know how I would do that. Or, oh, I could, you know, I could see how he needed to walk away and fix that. Those kind of things. I do fix those bookshelves. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Amanda, those are away from the wall. Those aren't even the ones we ended up using, so don't worry. Um, this bathroom gave me fits for, like, no good reason. I struggled so hard with that. I also tried really hard to not make my same standard bathrooms. Because, uh, Growing Together came out and this amazing, um, the word just escaped me. Tiles. Amazing tiles came out and I have done nothing since. <laughs> I love those so much. I really want to do like a, a recolor on them and add some more because they're so pretty. I want to do like a couple more greens and like I, I think I want to do like a couple of jewel tone swatches. I have no idea if I'm capable of doing that but I really think that those tiles would also be really pretty in jewel tones. If, some, if one of you really talented humans out there happens to hear this and wants to do jewel tones, send them to me please um but yeah so i tried to, i tried to stick away with those i think i ended up using them in one bathroom because the paint swatch um i thought was very 1950s even though the pattern isn't super 1950s and then i struggled with what to do with the back i think i probably butchered the back a little bit from the show because i think maybe the back that i thought was from the old house was probably from the new house but in the kitchen they walk out to like the back area in one of the houses and then into the garage, which I didn't include because obviously we don't have cars and stuff, which, you know, I used to say was an absolute improbability and it still probably is, <laughs> it still probably is an improbability. Wow, that was a terrible sentence, but it's fine. 
Um, but I also thought horses were never going to happen, and um, at the time of recording this, they've been announced, and at the time you're going to see this, they'll probably be out. And as uh, your resident horse girl, I am very excited. It's funny, it's an interesting situation, and again, by the time you're watching this, it's going to be well past when they're out, and I'm going to have vastly different opinions depending on what the horses are actually like. But it's kind of interesting because I played The Sims 3 horses, and I really enjoyed them. But I'm always kind of of the mindset, as someone who gets to experience horses in real life, who's very blessed to be able to do that, that if you if you can't flesh out horses, they're almost not worth doing in some ways, because horses are these really like magnificent creatures with really strong. Per they're like dogs. They all have personalities. They all have opinions and wants, um, and they're. It's a whole experience to take care of them, and I know that sounds really, like, silly, but I, I mean that, like, you have to get to know the horse. Like, I have a rescue right now, and I constantly keep bumping up against her new boundaries and stuff because she, you know, has these strong worldviews from her existence and stuff. And I feel like sometimes people treat horses in video games, which makes sense. They're either transportation or they're, like, comic relief, and that's totally fine, but I'm, like, in a life sim you kind of got to think about, like, how to simulate them in a way that makes them, I don't know, not just transportation, not just a bike reskin. Um, and so I was really nervous, and for a while I was like, well, I don't, like, I played The Sims 3 and I really liked those horses, but it kind of felt like, um, it kind of felt like they were reskinned dogs a little bit in some ways, and so I was like, you know, it'd be cool to have horses, but I also to a point, don't super care. This is where I gave up, side note, um, and just did something, like, completely different with the backyard. Um, but so anyways, I was kind of getting a little worried, and I was, when they first announced it, I was like, this is exciting, but also, I'm not gonna get my hopes up yet. So, um, that's where we kind of sat. Well, okay, and then the leak, to clarify, they leaked it, and it was, like, Sims 3, uh, box art, and I was like, they're not gonna do horses, guys. Why would they do horses? That doesn't make sense. It's a closed world. We're not, I'm not even gonna get excited. I was like, it's not horses. It was horses. Shocking. And I'm very excited for them, because it looks like they really fleshed out the training. It looks like they really fleshed out, they're make, they keep reiterating that horses are part of the family, which makes me really, really excited. Um, and so I'm really hoping, like, their personalities and stuff are fleshed out. And that it's really, it's a really interesting back to play. But I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> we'll see. By the time you see this, I'll probably be either singing its praises or I will have gone radio silent. Um, and th those will probably be my answers. Although I have been debating the merits, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have been debating the merits of trying my hand at a let's play. Because horses, you know. But I also like, I don't know. Like I really want to do let's plays of different games and stuff, but... I feel like I play The Sims almost kind of passively sometimes. Like, I love just watching and seeing what they do and then figuring out why they did it. Um, I don't often go in, like, I, I usually have a story prompt, but I usually don't go in with, like, a plan. And so I don't know how it'd be to do a Let's Play. But I feel like we might, we might have to do, like, a, a mini micro one. We'll have to see. No promises. Anyways, back to the build since I got super distracted. Here I am trying to do the living room, and I did try to do it a little bit more formal. There's no TVs in the house. Um, wait. No, yeah, there's no TVs in the house. I do think there's a radio. If not, there should have been, and that's my bad. There's no TVs in the house, though, because obviously if we're basing this off the 1950s, those weren't super common yet. They're, they're sort of coming into vogue. Um, but, like, in the house, in the smaller first house, they're obviously a young couple with young kids starting out. They don't afford one until later on. And, um, they also had rolling sets so that it was, like, off to the side and then you rolled it in when you wanted to watch TV and that's not something we have right now to be able to do, so it doesn't really make sense. So I did a little bit more of a formal living room, formal dining, formal guest space. Like, I kept it, I kept it pretty, pretty put together in that way. I also tried to do a window seat here. Most of it isn't functional and I honestly don't even know if the middle one is functional, but in, in their house they have these big beautiful built-ins with a seating area in the alcove, and so I tried to mimic that. Eh, middling results, I would say. I, I will wake up in the middle of the night at some point and have an idea on how to fix this, and it'll be glorious. Um, also, watch me build the entire house and not realize these are sticking through and then last minute I have to fix them. That was not my favorite thing. 
I can hear my voice starting to go, which is really unfortunate because this is not the only voiceover I have to record today. But I think I'm going to have to go get some tea real fast before I can f move on and, and do the next one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I needed to tell you about this build. I don't know, other than I thought it might be kind of fun to make people I have in mind for this build. I thought it would be kind of fun. I thought it would be kind of fun to build June and, and Ward and, and Wally and Beaver. And I thought it would be kind of fun to set them up in a household where there's other members, but then move them out so that aunts and uncles and stuff can come build. Because we are still in our, you know, growing together phase for a little bit longer. Horses come out. So it might be kind of fun to do, like, an extended family kind of situation. And if I do that, I'll make a video on it. As of the recording of this, I haven't done that yet, but it might be kind of fun. Um, anything else I need to tell you? I'm trying to think. You'll have to let me know what you think of the kitchen. I really like the kitchen. It took me forever, though. That's why this video is so long. I usually don't like doing this long a video. I know the algorithm likes this kind of video, but, like, you can hear my voice kind of given out, and you can hear me running out of things to talk about. I'm, like, going off topic already. So, like, I don't tend to do well with longer videos. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Or at least longer speed builds. But, uh, there was just so much footage, and, like, I don't know. I don't know why this one took that so long. I don't know for sure. Anyways, I'm gonna probably go. Let me know what you think of this one. Uh, let me- it should be up in the gallery eventually. I kind of- I was doing really good at getting stuff up in the gallery again, because my gallery started working again. And then, um, like, work's been crazy. And I just haven't really wanted to do the admin side of things. That's why, like, I was so excited for a while I was going to do a companion blog, which I still want to do for this channel. So, like, you could go and look up screenshots and, and like, layouts and, and packs and stuff. Um, and all, I have all these great ideas. I even have ideas for, like, series and stuff on this channel. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So, uh, another digression to say, like, this will eventually be up on the gallery. And when it goes up on the gallery, I will link the gallery, um, the, like, link thingy, the, the words escaped me. I will I will link that in the description box and if I ever get around to getting the companion website up it'll all be like combined there as well. And also you should probably be able to find my stuff by going to the gallery which um my username is down below. But uh but I don't know when this one's going up. So anyways I will talk to y'all later. I can hear myself starting to ramble. I hope you're having a great day and you're feeling loved. And if you're not feeling loved, please know that I love you and I'm glad you exist and I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoy my goofy attempt at a sitcom house. I think I might do this again. There's a couple other ones that, like, have been on rerun on TV lately that I think would be really fun. I think it'd be really fun to do the House Off the Rifleman. My dad's been super into westerns lately and I've been enjoying watching those with him. Um, and then there's a show called Last Man Standing, which is kind of an odd one. Um... But it's just been, like, on the TV every time I walk into the living room. I don't watch a lot of TV unless somebody else, like, says, hey, we're gonna watch something. Like, tonight we're gonna watch a Mario movie. I'm so excited. I know I'm late, but whatever. Um, like, that one's been on, so I have no idea what's going on. But they have a really pretty kitchen, so I kind of want to build their kitchen. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I hope you're feeling loved. I hope you've had a great day. And if you haven't had a great day, know tomorrow will be better. I'm rooting for you. I love you all, and I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye-bye.